Hey guys, it's Monsky here, and today we're back in the Elite Dangerous Power Play Beta, and we're going to take a look at drones, the different types of drones. Uh, I'm really only going to have a look at the prospecting and collecting drones today. Um, I think the fuel transfer drones are probably a little bit more difficult to test, just because you need another person as well. Uh, and my friends list is empty at the moment, but also, well not empty, but nobody's online. Um, but also, I think they're pretty self-explanatory in how they work, basically. It's just it transfers one each drone transfers one unit of fuel to your target ship, basically. Um, so I think the prospecting ones and the collecting ones are a going to be more useful. Like I think more people are going to be trying these because uh, I don't know how many that many people have actually run out of fuel ever. Um, but b I think they're a bit easier to test. So anyway, let's uh, let's have a look at the loadout that I'm using for this. You can see I'm using an anaconda. Uh, this is a ridiculously expensive loadout, by the way. You wouldn't. You wouldn't really be able to do this on the uh, the main server without a lot, like a lot of credits. So just bear that in mind. But anyway, let's have a look at it. So you can see I've got for, I've gone for a um, a full weapons loadout as well because I'm going to be in these resource extraction sites most likely. Uh, there is a chance I'll get uh, you know NPCs trying to pirate me or whatever. So being able to fight them off is probably a good thing. So I've got my huge plasma accelerator. I've got a few beam turrets. I've also got two medium. Uh, mining lasers. I don't think you need anything more than this for mining. Uh, I might only need one of them, but I'll go for two just to be nice and symmetrical. And then we get a couple more beam lasers. Also running a lot of shield boosters, um, just in case, I guess. And yeah, it's all about it. Shaft launcher as well. It's pretty simple stuff in terms of the weapons. Uh, so the internal components, basically everything is A-rated with the exception of the life support. And I've got a lot of cargo racks as well uh, for 240 tons of cargo capacity. I've also got two uh, Olympic controllers, so one for collector drones and one for prospector drones. And I've, all got a, uh, like I've got a refinery as well. I think I forgot how to speak there for a moment. Um, but yeah, so A4 refinery, that should be able to hold a lot of different types of uh, minerals and everything, just to make, thing, make life a bit easier. Um, so yeah, so these, these Olympic controllers, they can have multiple drones active at once. Um, I think the prospector uh, controller, the A5, can have... See if I can find it. There's so many, um, so many different things in here. That's the wrong one. It's kind of difficult to find them. Uh, where are we? Let's look for an A5. Yeah, there really needs to be a better way of searching through these things. But anyway, here we go. So the A5 um, collectors can have three limpets active at a time at a range of one and a half kilometers, and they they last for 720 seconds. I've heard that you can run into problems when you're using more than one at a time. Uh, like if you actually take advantage of being able to have three active at a time, apparently it can cause problems, but I guess we'll find out. And the A5 prospectors, you can have four active at a time at a range of 9.1 kilometers. That's a, that's a long range. Uh, you probably wouldn't need to be that far out from the asteroids, but whatever. Um, so yeah, so that's what, we, that's what we're rocking. So one other thing you need to know about this is that the limpets count as cargo, so you can see I've bought a hundred of them, so that's taking up uh, one hundred of my cargo space. Obviously, as I use these, that number will decrease. Uh, that's kind of what I'm counting on. So, and I also hope that I don't actually need one hundred. I just bought that to be on the safe side, really. So you buy them in munitions, and you can see you just got limpet control. So, you know, you just add and let's buy a few more. So that's all pretty simple. But yeah, so you got to remember they do count as cargo. So you're going to have to want if you if you're going to use these drones, you'll have to want a fair bit of um, cargo room, I suppose. And the other thing, I'll show you how I've got my fire groups set up. Uh, can I just go like that? Yes, I can. So I've got all my beam laser turrets on group one, just and my plasma accelerator there. I've got my limpets on two different fire groups. So the collectors are one, and the prospectors are two, as you can see. And then my mining lasers are down here. So hopefully that'll work. Um, I guess we'll find out. But anyway, so that's enough talking about the loadout and everything. Let's actually try to find something to mine. I'm not going to be tr like deliberately looking for really good resources or a pristine asteroid belt or something like that. Uh, I'm more interested in just seeing how the, how the limpets work, basically. So yeah, I guess I'll, uh, I'll try to find somewhere reasonable for that. And we'll... See you then, I guess. Engines engaged. Okay, so I've just come to a belt cluster out here. Um, there's unlikely to be any particularly interesting 
minerals or anything, uh, but whatever. Like I said, we're just doing this to see how the uh, how the drones work, rather than deliberately looking for really fancy stuff. So let's um, I guess I'll launch a prospector drone and we'll see what happens. Programming limpet drone. There we go. Programming limpet drone. Okay, away he goes. That's it there. So what's it actually going to do? We may never know. He's just gone off in the distance like that. Do I actually have to shoot him at an asteroid? Let's try that. Programming limpet drone. Keep it up like that. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing at the moment. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, there we go. So now I target him, and you can see there's 100% minerals remaining. We've got uranite, bauxite, and galite. Okay. So that's actually succeeded. So that's the other one that failed, because I just shot that off into the middle of nowhere. So you actually aim it at the asteroid. Okay, that's good to know. Hopefully I don't actually run into said asteroid. Uh, let me try to find my... Mining lasers, there we go. Okay. So we got a couple of chunks coming off now by the looks of it. I think. Yep, so let's um let's fire off a collector drone. Programming limpet drone. Alright, away he goes. Oh, looks like he's picked it up and he is coming back. Okay, where's he going? Wait. Limpet drone error. Deploy okay. Cargo hatch. Cargo hatch. Righto. Cargo okay. Scoop cargo deployed. scoop is down. Collector limpet expired. Oh, and there goes my collector. All right. Interesting. Let's uh fire off another one, I guess. Programming limpet drone. So you can see I, I do have stuff in my refinery as well, so that did get delivered. So let's, I guess, make the uranite the priority. And I will keep doing a bit asteroid of this. Depleted. Oh, asteroid's depleted already, okay. So what's this uh, drone doing? I think that's the... Okay, it'd be really nice if it told you in here if they were collectors or prospectors, i got to say. So he's just sitting down there doing nothing now. Okay, so I target this one. Do I have to send off another collector? I really don't know. Let's do that. Programming limpet drone. Limpet I thought I already had the... Deploy cargo hatch. That's weird. Alright, this is... Um, I'm managing to confuse myself a lot here. I already thought the cargo scoop had been lowered. Uh, the refinery is full. Okay. So you got a lot of... Um, I guess there's a fair bit of like micromanagement sort of stuff happening at the moment. So... Okay. It has been a long time since I've done any mining as well. So just be aware of that. It's not helping. So do I have to keep doing anything with the cargo scoop? It's still lowered. So I don't know what was going on there. That might have been a bug or something. So it looks like he's going back out for more. I guess you just got to remember that time span, because they do have a limited lifespan. So he's gone out and he's coming back. Okay. I suppose I could send another one off out there. I mean, I've got plenty of them to spare. You can see my uh, refinery is slowly filling up. Like so. Okay, so they are definitely working. There we go. And we now have one unit of uranite. So, yay. 
And that's the good thing about having a um, a refinery with such a, no a large number of different um, bays or ports, whatever they call them. You, know, you can you don't have to worry about um, getting in trouble just because you've got so many different types of resources and stuff. Just want to make sure I don't run into this. So let's pop off another prospector at this asteroid up and up ahead. All right, and away he goes. Hopefully that actually hits. It is somewhat difficult to aim them, I guess, because you can't really um, you can't really target the asteroids. Okay, so that's fine. So this is rutile, galite, and bauxite. So let's go for this as well. Am I within range? I don't think so. There we go. So we've already got chunks coming off there. So let's uh, fire off a collector. If you're wondering what's going on there, I've got my uh... I've got a kind of scroll wheel thing on my joystick throttle, and it's really imprecise. Like, that's what I use to control where my um, like what weapon groups I have selected, but it's pretty imprecise, so sometimes you have to keep cycling through it. But anyway. So it looks like now that I've got that targeted, I guess the uh, drone's going to keep going backwards and forwards again. So let's start allocating these resources here. If I keep my head in the right place. There we go. So you're, not, you're definitely not running around wasting time scooping, which is nice because I really don't like scooping. And some ships are far more difficult to scoop than others. I think the larger ships are far more difficult to use the scoops and everything. Um, so it's, it's good that the drones definitely do work in terms of collecting and everything. It is, I suppose, somewhat confusing. But this is the first time I've used them, so there you go. So he's come back and collected another one. You can see him just going backwards and forwards. There you go, he's actually picked that one up for me. So yeah, I guess it's it's um it's a bit more sitting around than doing normal mining, because you know, doing no doing it normally, you'd have to be out scooping all these fragments yourself. But there is a little bit more management involved as well. So I don't know. So where's my uh, refinery? How's this going? Obviously, this isn't really the, the way you would want to do mining, just because, um, you know, you, you'd really only only be want to be focusing on one or two resources, I think, rather than having, you know, four different ones that you're working on all at the same time. But you see, so he's just going backwards and forwards. But yeah, what, what would be really nice is a bit more... I'm going to keep my head in the right place. But it'd be nice to just have a bit more detail in this contacts tab. So you could say, you know... This one's a prospector, and this one's a collector. You know, just because you do have all this room. You see, if, if I target one of these sidewinders, you got all this room down there to the right-hand side of the tab where you get all the information about the ship. It'd be really cool if you could just say, you know, um, this is a prospector, this is a collector. The collector has X time remaining or whatever before it dies. Just a little bit more information would be nice, I think. Let's go over here and do that. So we've got a unit of Rutile now as well. Yay for us. And I think that's most of the fragments, if not all of them, collected. Uh, let's find another asteroid, shall we? I am slowly getting a bit better at this, I think. Oops. That didn't sound good. Anyway. Okay, so we'll fire off a prospector at this guy. Hopefully I'm lined up with him properly. The good thing about using the A-rated collector, or the A4 collector, whatever, which A5 maybe, I don't know, whatever, is that it does have that long range, so as long as you're lined up properly, um, you can basically hit asteroids from a long way away. So there we go, this one is Lipidolite, Lipidolite, I don't know, whatever, and Bauxite. So, as I was saying before, these are not particularly good asteroids uh, in terms of mining, but in terms of demonstrating how these drones work, I think it's fine. And these two are, these two mining lasers empty out the asteroids really quickly too. So I probably only needed one really. 
There we go, as you can see. So let's uh, fire off a collector. I'll fire off two, actually. We'll see how it goes. There we go. It would be nice, and I'm, there might actually be keybinds for this, but it would be nice if there was a... Oh, so one's expired already. I don't know if that was one of the previous ones or one of the ones that I just sent off. But uh, I was going to say, it would be nice if there was a button just to deploy the drones instead of having it bound to a fire group. I think it would just make life a little bit easier. And I've got to play around with the refinery a little bit as well. There we go. So I'm getting messages that the prospector... Oh, that was the prospector. The prospector failing, right? Getting mixed up between my prospector and my collector. But they do seem you can, if you keep an eye on the radar, you can see two of the white things keep going backwards and forwards. Those are my two collectors, so I could actually fire off another one now as well, if I wanted to. They're saying deploy the cargo scoop, which is already lowered. That must be a bug. I can only imagine that's a bug. That or as I'm trying to deploy that other that other drone the scoop is actually going up or something, because I think it uses the cargo scoop to deploy and collect the drones. So I'm not really sure. And I've got to do some mocking around with the refinery again. Alright, so it looks like everything's been collected now, according to this. Except for that fragment there. But whatever. Alright, and so I guess, given uh, given the sheer number of limpets that I have, I could stay out here doing this for like an hour or whatever. Okay, I guess that was another one coming back. Now, I don't actually know if I've used this asteroid before or not. I guess let's fire off a prospector and we'll find out. And so I think the thing is as well, you have to remember to keep your ship lined up with the target, at least with the prospector, um, until it's actually deployed it. You can't just... because you get that message queue it's like, you know, programming the limpet. And it hasn't actually fired it at that point though, so you want to keep it lined up. Prospector limpet engaged. There we go. Okay, so this one's got 100%, bauxite, indite and galite. So let's go after this one as well. Obviously because I've got my uh, cargo scoop deployed. It's taking me a lot longer to move around as well because my speed, top speed is reduced to 65 meters per second. It's, um, I wonder if I deploy the collector first, maybe that would make things faster. If I can select the group, there we go. So now I'll do my mining. There we go. Okay. So now I just gotta wait for it to go backwards and forwards basically. Collect a limpet expired. Collect a limpet expired. Radio. See so yeah, I think I think one thing that it would really make using these drones a lot easier, or I don't know, a bit more user friendly, would just be more information on the hub about what's going on. I mean, it's all well and good to, to know that you've got limpets out there, but when you can't tell which ones they are, or what they're doing, or how much longer they've got until they're about to expire, I think that makes it a little bit more difficult than it needs to be. Let's fire off another one. I've got to mess around with my thingy here as well. That's the technical term, the thingy. But alright, so I've been out here for how long? Uh, well, I've been recording for 23 minutes. I've probably been out here for 10 or 15 minutes, maybe, and I've got a fair bit, uh, well, I say a fair bit, I've got six different minerals, but it would have taken me a lot longer than that if I was just scooping them manually, because I'm terrible at scooping. And we've got a little bit more now as well. So the collectors are definitely making mining a lot faster. I mean, if I was mining something good, like uh, palladium or... Go back here. No, it's okay. If I was getting palladium or some of the newer resources, uh, what was it, osmium and paynite, paynite, however you say that, uh, it would definitely be a lot more profitable. And one other way you could increase the profit is by taking those missions for the um, the different types of resources. You know, 
uh, there was some on the bulletin board before I left for I couldn't accept them because I didn't have the correct rankings or whatever or um, or reputation. But you know, you're talking two to three hundred thousand credits for two or three units of a certain mineral. So that's definitely a way of increasing the profit from mining. I guess one thing that you have to be aware of though is you're going to spend a lot of time sitting around uh, waiting for the drones to actually do the job. I mean, it's not that they're going particularly slowly, but it is just going to take time. Oh yeah, they, they definitely work though. That's um, that's one thing you can say. They do definitely work. So yeah, that's um, that's basically the collector and limpet uh, prospecting drones, if I can remember what they're called. Uh, I think they're pretty good. I think there's a few things that would make them easier to use, as I've already mentioned. But as as they are, they definitely do work. So it remains to be seen if mining will. Um, even approach the profitability of trading or bounty hunting, but I think this makes it a, a more viable profession, if you want to use that term. Um, uh, so much micromanagement. It's, not actually, it's actually not that much, it's just more than I'm used to in this game. Um, but yeah, so it remains to be seen, as I was saying, if mining will still will actually be a particularly profitable thing to do, but I think if you don't like scooping, and I certainly don't like scooping, uh, it's a lot better than it was before because you can use these collectors to do all that scooping for you. Um, but yeah, so I think I'll end this one here. So I hope that's kind of explained how these drones work. I do think they're pretty cool. Obviously, you can use the collector ones for uh, a little bit of piracy or whatever as well. Uh, if these guys were carrying cargo, these sidewinders, I could actually go shoot out their cargo hatch or whatever and then use some collector limpets to, um, to collect all their sweet goodies. So that's another way you could use them. Although I think they're probably more useful just in terms of um, of mining for most players. But yeah, so I think that's about it for the drone. So I think I'll end this one here. So until next time, I've been Vosko. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.